Hello, Scotty. 2,000 advisors and ETF providers all trying to figure out the state of the economy and the markets. Let's ask Tim Buckley, the CEO of Vanguard. I've never seen so much confusion in the investor community. They don't know about whether the soft landing is going to happen. They don't know where equities are going this year. And they don't know if the bond portfolios that they didn't want a year and a half ago are back again. What are you telling investors? What's Vanguard's telling investors? Well, Bob, I think the, the backdrop we have here is you've got a lot of volatility of people moving in and out of the market, and they're, they're ruled by this FOMO, this fear of missing out. Everyone wants to figure out when is the Fed, when are they going to pause, when are they going to cut rates, and no one wants to, to miss out on that equity rise that will happen as a result. And so, Bob, like, what do we tell people? Don't guess. Just stay invested. Stay invested in the markets. It's really tough to time it, and you're going to end up missing the uptick. Last year, 60-40 bond, stock bond portfolio, dead. Nobody wanted it. Now it's back again. Mass confusion on where bonds should be. What's Vanguard's telling people? Well, we hear 60-40 is dead after every bear market. I've been around long enough to hear that. i got a two-word answer for them. Wellington Fund. Balanced, balanced fund started in 1929, 65, 35 diversification. Bob, it has seen, gosh, it's seen bear markets, bull markets. It's seen a depression, a world war. It's seen inflation that makes today's inflation look like child's play. It's seen rising rates, declining rates. And you look at rolling 10-year periods, it outperforms most professional managers. Yeah. And 60-40, it's a time-tested strategy. It's an amazing, legendary fund. I watch your assets under management advance every year. $7.2 trillion. You're getting close to BlackRock. I know you don't like to talk about that, but every single year, up markets, money in the Vanguard. Down markets, money in the Vanguard. What's the secret? Why, does pe why do people keep putting money into Vanguard year after year, regardless of whether the market's up or down? Well, being client-owned makes a difference. Clients know that, hey, we put their interest first in every, everything we do, so they can count on us letting them keep more of their return, and we keep them focused on that long term. Avoid the short-term noise, stay invested, keep your diversification. And so one thing you see at Vanguard is we don't see people leave. People come and they don't leave. Other firms have a lot of turnover where, where clients will be leaving. That's just not the case at Vanguard. When you see people rushing into thematic products, I know, of course, Jack Bogle, founder of Vanguard, associated with indexing. People love cybersecurity ETFs, uh, social media ETFs. What do you tell people? You have niche products to a certain extent out there, but what do you tell people who want to invest in the latest fad? Where, where, what's the advice Vanguard has? Yeah, fads don't belong in investing. I mean, our, our niche would be healthcare, 16% of the economy. I mean, that's hardly, so when you think about a sector, we will have something like that. But don't try to play a fad. You're really in there. You, gotta, you have to think long term. When we come out of a, a market environment like a recession, the strategy that worked the last time is not going to be the strategy that works this time. So if you think, hey, I'm going to be in cyclicals, or actually when rates go down, I want to be in those mega growth caps, right? They're not going to be the ones to win out because that game, people will know it already. Proxy investing is a bit of a hot button issue right now. Vanguard last week announced the launch of a, a proxy voting choice for investors in three of Vanguard's funds. This is a pilot, I know, but are right. you seeing, uh, hearing investors want to become more involved in proxy voting? Bob, we want to understand what is their, what voice do they want to have? And so this pilot's all about understanding that voice. Now, we're only really a week into it, so maybe we'll, we'll come back and tell you, here are the results that we heard from clients. It's not just how engaged will they be, but how do they want their voice expressed? Well, the kids of Jack Bogle, and you're one of them, I'm sure would be proud. Vanguard is now getting close to BlackRock, and I know you don't like to talk about or pay yeah, attention like to, to it. We like to talk about fun performance. Well, that's, we pay attention to us. it, and believe me, it's impressive to watch. Thank you very much. Tim Buckley, Thanks, the Bob. CEO of Vanguard. Pleasure to chat with you.